could not uh, conduct some <coughs> live interaction which I was planning uh, due to some you know election duties and all that we were busy with that uh, yeah friends first of all I welcome you when we have entered into the week 12 of our course and we have invited you and informed you that yes registration for the examination that window is already open in national testing agency website and uh, I have already requested you and there were some issues which have already been resolved and uh, I think many of you have registered in the examination for the examination which is going to be held on 18th of May and uh, yes now we are going to open up our session for that live interaction which in which we discuss and put our queries we try to solve our queries so first of all is anyone having any problem regarding the examination registration please do let me know first uh, because I have already communicated to the authority and authority will be kind enough to resolve that issue at a very short span of time. And uh, most of the many learners have already registered for the examination. And this is very much important that uh, whatever we have learned, let us have some certification for, um, after passing the course. But as far as the academic writing as a course is concerned, as I've already mentioned, this is about the learning and practicing. And uh, if you are able to you know, write an effective paper, communicate it, communicate, able to communicate the that paper into the journal, or you can write uh, the thesis or the conference paper or the research grant proposal, it is the you know benchmark of the success of the course and many of our learners have enjoyed the course and uh, deduce the benefits in various different forms so i'm here to first of all reminding you that please do register in the examination and uh, uh, for record, for our record, we are uh, recording the meeting for your kind information. So, for the academic writing, whatever we have covered, that after the basics in academic writing, English in academic writing, plagiarism in academic writing, literature review, review paper writing, thesis writing research writing submission and post submission so far we have covered we have tried to kept our delivery of different topics with respect to the multidisciplinary approach so that we can you know go for different different subjects so you are most welcome if you have any query madhumita you can ask, please unmute yourself. Are you able to unmute yourself? Yeah, yeah good please. afternoon, sir. Yeah, sir madam, uh, I'm really sorry. This is my mother's account and I'm joining. No, of course, just no. Just no. Yeah. Uh, so my yeah, uh, question is to regard to the uh, citation, which I was like going through today in the morning and I have submitted the assignment as well. So one problem is, sir, we were given in the question that we could use citation generator. So usually I do citation by my own hand, like you put the input, the dates and do it manually. But today while doing in a citation generator, one thing I noticed that when I'm trying to like, when I'm copy pasting it, 
in the file, the link is not getting highlighted at all. In the citation generator, two of them I use. One is by Scribbler, another is by Quillboard. Both are uh, having the same problem. That is the site is no, not no, getting no. highlighted. Quillboard and these are the not. They are they just give you the citations, you know, just like the Google Scholar provides. But the uh, you know the literature management tools like Mendeley and Zotero, if you use, you just need to put them into the library, okay, in the library, and then. It will be highlighted only when you will be importing them into your work file. Otherwise not. If you just copy paste it, obviously it is not going to be highlighted in the text citation. Got my point? It means uh, yes, using sir. the Mendeley and Zotero means first, whatever the references you are using, you must check one by one, open them one by one and click save to Mendeley library or identify that particular folder in which you are going to save it. Once this task is complete, then you go to your word file and then start writing a thing and wherever the reference is required, you open up the words plugin of Mendeley and then you are directed to the library and you just select that particular reference there in the text citation. And once this process is done, you are reaching to the end of that document, say for example, end of that article, you just go to the, that again, the, you know, Mendeley's plugin on the word, and you will see insert citation, and you can select the type of uh, style of citation, APA, MLA, CMS, whatever you, uh, is available there, Harvard. You can, uh, Harvard, you can do that just by clicking once then only it will come just not by copy pasting but my point if you are not clear please go to go back to the literature management tools where we have given the demo there and uh, mm, we have given that particular aspect even rather if you are if you are noticing we have given the same a free course at the second subject assignment in this week content if you will go to the assignment section you will find a second subject assignment there is a course you have to do just say 30 minutes uh, video it is there which is letting you know the same thing which i have discussed a few minutes ago that how you should use the mandalay's library for the text citation and using that after completing that course you will be generating the course is a course certificate will be generated you just need to upload that course certificate as a part of second subject assignment got my point Yes, sir. Uh, sir, second question that is with regard to the uh, exam. So, sir, you are tentatively saying that it will be uh, exam will be held by 18th of May, right? To the best of my knowledge and uh, to the uh, as informed by the NTA, that date is already decided 18th May and timing is the first slot, nine, I think 9 to uh, 12, 9 to 1. It is there, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. 9 to 12, yeah. So, uh, anyone Hello, as, Hello, yes, sir. Sir. Am, I, am I audible? Adi, good, good afternoon. Bole. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank you, you, uh, because of uh, like uh, the uh, synopsis right now, which is uh, uh, taken by Mona, ma'am. So, I am going to appear in like a PhD interview. So, it's going to help me. Sir, my query is like about the uh, subjective assignment uh, title. Okay, so uh, the title which we, we need to select ourselves or there is a specific title or standardized title which we want to present in that. Yeah. No, no, like we, have already, said, we have already clarified okay. there that any topic you can write, any topic you can choose. That our, our aspect or our focus is not uh, the content what you are writing. Our focus is on that how you detect and avoid the plagiarism. This is the you know motto of that particular exercise which we have given as the first subject assignment. Got my point? Okay, sir. One thing that uh, regarding the citation generation, as my colleagues highlighted that, sir. Uh, so uh, with respect to that, I just uh, uh, copy and paste 
so is it okay or i need to do that same because it's find hard to do me so that's so but nahi but you can do so far you can just copy paste it because even i do that same thing if uh, there are only uh, 10 20 references i use i do it manually when i'm going for uh, references um, more than 50 for review or thesis i go for the you know that uh, management tools like mandlen zotaro you can do it no worries as uh, whatever is suitable and convenient to you for the assignment itself but our purpose is that we learn that how to use it you know so just we should be comfortable and see that what kind of problem uh, we may face because these tools get updated time to time so maybe there may be some new thing appearing uh, before you when you are trying to use these management tools for your uh, especially when you are when you will be writing the thesis now it is utmost essential or it is utmost required that you requ- you use this management tool otherwise you you will be in dilemma if you just skip a particular reference or the numbering you are doing that you will be in trouble if you are doing it manually so please do learn using the management tools okay for your future work Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Most welcome. Hey, excuse me, sir. Myself, uh, Dr. Nagendra Prasad. Ji, bolen Nagendra. Uh, sir, actually, I have completed only three weeks of uh, study, and uh, today is the last day to submit the graded quiz. So I think I no, cannot. No, no, not not graded quiz. It is just for subjective assignment. For graded quizzes, for all the weekly assignment, the last date is fifth of May, twenty twenty four. and it doesn't matter don't worry if you are still unable to do that it doesn't matter because we are going to select only a bunch of uh, assignment out of the com- uh, total 15 plus 2 17 assignments uh, including the subject and objective so doesn't matter even if you skip it uh, don't worry about that okay and then another thing shall i go for uh, the subjective subjective assessment or uh, i shall uh, first complete then i shall uh, रजिस्टर okay it should be just before the due date otherwise after the due date uh, you won't be able to submit anything yeah okay, okay. you say okay. this is a automated process once it is written there that particular date particular hours after that it will be closed even i can't do anything i can't open it okay thank you mm. so please uh, you know do the assignments uh, assignment that weekly quizzes because if you are especially if you are going for the uh, exam registration and for certification the 30% of the marks are taken from the assignments okay and 70 and out of the 100 uh, marks question paper only 70% weightage will be taken from the that cbt exam the end semester exam if you are unable to get a minimum of 40% in the internal you won't be awarded the certificate that is so simple and it is already written in the uh, you know landing page of the course you must score 40% individually in the internal as well as the external okay thank you anyone else or koi query hai please let me know sorry sir i have joined late what is the first subjective assignment the first subject assignment is there you just go through the assignment section and it's the last day for the sub subject assignment i think at up to 2359 ist it sir, will be closed so where did go to the assignment it? section that the bottom of the left navigation bar at the course dashboard you will find the first subject assignment january 2024 got it rather second subject assignment has already been also been released yesterday with the content of that thing assignment uh, we will see as i told you that i have given a uh, task of using you know liter how you manage the literature management tools is a brief course is there you just have to complete it and uh, answer some questions 
and a certificate will be generated and the same certificate you need to upload in the at the as the form of the second subject assignment and if you are not compatible with the in the submitting the first one you can do it second one it is not mandatory that you do both the second subject both the subjective assignments got my point dono mein se koi bhi karenge to chalega theek hai good afternoon sir uh, like what will be the examination pattern for final exam this will be mcq i uh, that it's already mentioned in the landing page if you see that will simply uh, mcq but it will be, you will have to go physically to the center it is a computer based test and you just need to click the right answers and lock it after the completion of the exam okay thank you thank you ji bilkul thank you and please aap dekhiye uh, please do register the for the examination the examination dates and the links is already mentioned in the announcement you go to the course announcement you will find the links there go to the nta.ac.in you will find the swayam and uh, you can go and submit the fees required fees and you will be able to you know complete the examination process so do it on time because at the last moment if you are performing uh, something then it may cause uh, you know some problem if you are trying to register at a later date or the closing date yes यस हेलो हाँ जी बोले सर एक मिनट पूछना था जो अभी दिया है ना उस एग्जाम का रजिस्ट्रेशन डेट तो वहाँ पे एक स्टूडेंट क्वेश्चन ऐसा है तो एज ए मैं एम्प्लॉय भी हूँ तो वहाँ पे एम्प्लॉय के बाद में जो कॉलेज वगैरह आता है तो कॉलेज में जो नहीं मेरा कैंपस में है उसमें आता नहीं है उस यूनिवर्सिटी का नाम तो क्या करना पड़ेगा सर नेरे सेंटर आपको ऑप्शन मिलते हैं चार सेंटर मेरे ख्याल से जहाँ तक मेरी जानकारी तीन या चार सेंटर आपसे ऑप्शन मांगे जाते हैं जो भी नियरेस्ट आपको दिख रहा हो उसमें यू नीड टू फिल आपको अपने कॉलेज ऐसा तो बहुत संभव नहीं हो पाता कि हर एक को उसके कॉलेज में मिले क्योंकि एन जो है एक स्टैकर्ड करके रखता है कि ताकि ज्यादा किसी को ट्रेवल ना करना पड़े प्रयास ही रहता है कि विद इन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर ऑफ योर बोथ आपको मिल ही जाएगा ऐसा जनरली होता है I think you will get it in the center within 100 km of your you know college aapko 100 km ke andar andar aapko zarur milega college aisa nta ka prayas rehta hai thank you good afternoon sir ji bole good afternoon sir main bhanu priya bol rahi hu sir mujhe janna tha ki plagiarism report है वो कितने देर में aa jata hai agar hum jo subject assignment hai submit karna hai to plagiarism एक मिनट दो मिनट हार्डली एक मिनट के अंदर अंदर आ जाता है स्टैंड एक दो मिनट तीन मिनट नॉट मोर देन दैट ओके सर थैंक यू सर बिकॉज इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द नंबर ऑफ पेजेस बिकॉज़ वी हैव जस्ट गिवन यू द टास्क ऑफ राइटिंग फॉर द 1000 वर्ड्स सो इट विल इट विल टेक हार्डली 1 मिनट नॉट मोर देन दैट इट टेक्स लिटिल बिट ऑफ मोर टाइम व्हेन इट द बल्क इज विदाउट सर विदाउट प्लेजरिज्म रिपोर्ट कैन आई सबमिट सबमिट और नॉट obviously you you can submit no one can check you but you won't be given any marks if the plagiarism report is not there okay 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 thank you sir any minus marking is there or just it is no 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 there is no minus marking we have it put that uh, scoring is very comfortable for you to uh, you know to score there you just do the uh, weekly assignment regularly or uh, at a one particular stretch if you want to complete it that's why humne aapko jo hai light last date 5th of may diya hai so that you can comfortably do them uh, in the your convenient timings whenever you get the time you can complete the assignments okay so okay. at any moment you can do that no there's no issue and that uh, and if you are getting uh, full marks in at least 5 1 so you will get you are going to get the 100% marks in the internal assignments So don't need not to worry. So just ensure that you do it. Uh, and uh, even if you have done something wrong, you can re-attempt it. As you know, it is mentioned there. You can submit the assignment as many times as you want to. Only your last assignment or last entry will be counted or scored. Okay. Got my point? So doubt to to dobara bhi kar sakte. Ah, that's so. But there has been you know 
Yes, anyone else? Hadi Abjo, those who have raised their hand, they can unmute themselves and one by one they can raise their queries. Yes, please. Sir, regarding uh, subject to assignment, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, I have a subject to assignment, sir. I have a correction or modification of time. No, correction modification will not happen. When you submit it, then it will be evaluated. Okay? We are not going to resend it to you. Okay, sir. How will you get the score, sir? How much score we have got? Yeah, this will be shown after I have written it. आपका जो इवैल्यूएशन स्टार्ट होगा अब जैसे 31 मार्च उसके बाद से इवैल्यूएशन स्टार्ट होगा लगभग दो हफ्ते बाद तब वो आपको दिखाई देगा तो इवैल्यूएशन तो एक साथ होता है पूरा प्रोसेस होता है सैकड़ों हमारे पास असाइनमेंट आते हैं तो वो मैन्युअली करना होता है तो मैन्युअली असाइनमेंट हम प्लेजरिज्म के बेस पे करेंगे आपने कितना रिमूव किया उसके हिसाब से हम देखेंगे एंड और जो रेस्ट ऑफ द जो जो वीकली असाइनमेंट जो आप कर रहे हैं एमसीक्यू वाले यू विल बी फाइंडिंग द स्कोर्स एंड योर प्रोग्रेस बार ऑन आफ्टर 5th ऑफ मे पांच मई के बाद लास्ट डेट के बाद ही रिजल्ट जो है ओपन होगा ठीक है ना तो तब तक हम सब कोर्स करें चलो करें हाँ 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 करते रहिए ना वो करते रहिए कोर्स वो अपना करते चलते करते रहिए क्योंकि पांच मई के बाद दिन ही कितना बचेगा ये इसलिए टाइम दिया जाता है कि भैया कई अभी लास्ट डेट हमारी 29 फरवरी थी जो दोस्त हुए ज्वाइन डिट लेटर तो ताकि हर एक व्यक्ति ऑनलाइन कोर्स तब करता है जब वो अपनी फुर्सत में होता है तो सो दैट्स वाई Uh, we have given the sufficient convenience that yes, आप तुम्हें एक हफ्ते नहीं मिला टाइम कोई बात नहीं दो हफ्ते बाद एक पास बैठ के कर लीजिए सो दैट्स वाई टू गिव यू द फ्रीडम टू अटेम्प्ट एट योर ओन कन्वीनियंट टाइमिंग वी हैव गिवन द सफिशियंट डेट ओके ओके सर थैंक यू सो मच सर हेल्पिंग लॉट ऑफ लर्नर सर थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू थैंक यू यस हाँ और कोई क्वेरी प्लीज Sir, uh, up to uh, like uh, which date we can access the video and all the course content? As you mentioned that the last date exam and so and so forth. So mm -hmm. one can access the video like uh, up to which date? Uh, Generally, we close only when the next day cycle is started. Uh, up to that, up to that time, the uh, course contents are easily available. And rather, say, many times we keep it open. Last word for. Say for example, for the uh, last cycles, we have kept it open. Generally, we keep it open so that you can access at uh, your own convenient timing. So you need not to worry. Okay, it will be available. Sir, one more question, like I raised here. Uh, regarding the sir, synopsis writing, uh, like uh, Mona Ma'am told us that first you need to aims and objective, then literature review, sir. Uh, Within that, I got confused that uh, uh, so how can I write aim and objective? Uh, so I I think that I should go first the literature review, then I will go to the aims and objective accordingly. I proceed. So that so that flexibility can apply here. So can you please? Oh, of course, you can do that. And basically, literature review करने के बाद ही you will go for the uh, no objective and all that thing. But uh, a brief, because when you are finalizing your title or your topic of research work, you have already done a little bit of prior survey. Literature review is itself a part of the thesis once you have finalized it. But because uh, before finalizing that, you do a pilot literature review. Then only you are able to finalize your title as well as your objective, aim and objective. Okay. So. Your objective, when you are doing it, until you have finalized your synopsis, you are doing the literature review and you find something that you need to do the corrections before finalizing of the synopsis, you can do the corrections or you can do, modify it, improvise it so that your work is flexible enough. You flexibility to flexibility. You can't be very, very rigid in your aim and objectives because it is the research. Research means there is no certainty. There is no guarantee of any work to be completed so you have to give a optimum flex flexibility in your entire objectives and the time duration of achieving those objectives got my point otherwise you will be in trouble uh, if something goes wrong and you haven't given any flexibility or plan b or plan c uh, for achieving the aim of your synopsis or your phd research work and that is utmost important you just 
and never ever skip consulting your supervisor that uh, what should be the convenient way you go for the basic aim and objective maybe and if you want to go ahead of that you can report it obviously yes i have also done this thing but the minimum thing if you are mentioning and you are not doing that minimum thing then you will be in trouble got my point so flexibility utna rakhna hai ki hum samasya mein nahi pade okay okay sir uh... i got the point in addition to that uh, sir uh, one thing that i have already sent my uh, research proposal to a uh, university for my uh, admission in phd so i need to like want to change something with respect to my like uh, objective and literature review so can i uh, do that so in general sense or it make any uh, trouble in my interview that you have already mm. sent this and you are uh, bring with you another one Uh, like something modification but same like uh, all the thing so what do you uh, in general we can't uh, no we are not allowed to correct that modification until something completely change you want or something significant you want to change in that synopsis rather you should not go for these things the unnecessary you will be in trouble okay so that's why uh, it is very much important that we be very much vigilant and uh, cautious uh, while finalizing our synopsis for the phd research work okay no okay, sir okay uh, since yeah. lord did i am trouble with that thing so now get it with clarity thank you sir thank you thank you welcome most of you yes uh, others please hello sir ha ji bole Uh, sir are you extended the time for uh, submitting the assignments mm -hmm. have you given the time Timing? for submitting the assignment 2359 it is in there midnight 23 for, for, for subject assignment na subject assignment yes. you are asking or object uh, submitting the assignments because we are, we have already submitted we have already given the date if you go to the assignment at the top right corner the due date is mentioned and for uh -huh. all the assignment it is 5th of may 2024 Okay, fifth of, of May, twenty twenty four is there, twenty three fifty nine. Starting ISD. from the first assignment. Starting yeah, from the first starting assignment. Yeah, starting from the first one. Starting for the first okay. one. Only for the first subject assignment. Subject assignment today is the last date for the subject assignment in which you have to go for the pledging reporting and all that because it was already given quite uh, I think one and a half month before. So the subject assignment and we will we have already released the second subject assignment. I think however both are not mandatory. You can do any one. So you can go even if you have skipped or uh, not able to attempt the first subject assignment, you can go for the second one. That is quite that would be very okay. comfortable okay, for you. Sir. Okay. Because okay. exam scores depends on the assignments also, no? Right Obviously, now. Obviously, thirty percent weightage will be given from the subject, and that too you must score minimum forty percent in the uh, assignments. Otherwise, you won't get any certificate. So you can okay, you can't you, skip sir. the entire assignment that yes I will score in the uh, the term and exam it's not possible okay even oh, if you get okay, 100 okay. marks full marks full wise full marks in the uh, the term and exam you are getting 30 marks or 32 marks say for example uh, 30 means uh, less than 40 percent then okay. you won't be able to get the certificate. Okay. okay sir because we have not yet submitted any assignment till now so please right do so don't please do it to do the time is there with you as per your convenience you can do that you can okay. go for one or two assignments in a one particular sitting and you will be easily completing it don't worry uh, thank you thank you okay most welcome yes and uh as far as the uh, but i am planning that because we are the family of uh, uh, different different subjects and discipline soon i'll be uh, you know floating a google form or microsoft form which uh, the for collecting a particular data data which will be useful for all of us i'll be sharing the complete data whenever it is finalized before the course completion what i am planning that depending on your experience especially for those students uh, for, for those researchers i will be requesting or the faculty members uh, who can contribute that in their field what is the field of their research work number one subject or the field of research in that particular subject and the journal preferred by them on the basis of two factors number one 
which are at least indexed or having the impact factor but without any processing or publishing charges with minimum time of publication that what is the tentative time and so that we may have an idea and we can and uh, come up with a repository kind of thing for different different disciplines that yes how we can uh, help each other in selecting the journals especially with the arts and humanities if you go for the management one arts and humanities there are journals which take lots of lots of time where it may take 100 days 200 days sometime uh, so we may but still the journals are there who respond you within one month uh, with your first decision uh, or maximum three months up to one to three months that is okay but if it is going beyond that then it is uh, you know uh, complicated so we will be inviting you to share your experience for a good journal and even for the bad journal that you uh, suggest it and you not at all suggest it or you are against using the day. so you may have experience of uh, about a journal regarding positive or negative report that data we are going to collect and i request you all the researchers to contribute in that particular thing and this thing we'll be sharing with all of the learners so that they can take the advantage out of that and get their work published on a in a timely manner without spending any money for publishing and that too obviously with quality journal we want to publish so we will be having a uh, creating a kind of repository for our research workers research uh, researchers scholars faculty members and all that okay so jaldi karunga then i hope you will be responding that thing yes uh, those who have already asked the question and no don't have any question remaining to be asked please lower your hands okay and uh, जिसको पूछना है वो प्लीज आस्ट एट क्वेरीज हेलो यस सर आई आई सम ऑफ द नॉट ऑल ओनली फर्स्ट असाइनमेंट दैट इज नाउ यू वे टेलिंग नो दैट वी मस्ट टू डू All the subject assignment is that that is week one, week two. Is that you are um, um, mentioning about that, sir? It's including the week one, week two, week three uh, subject assignments are there. Subject assignment, okay. There, there are two kinds of assignment. There is self assessment test. I am not talking about the self assessment in which the answers are already there. I am talking about the assignment properly at the last navigation bar at the end. An assignment unit is there where you will finding the week one, week two, week three, and so on. Uh, the all the graded assignment and with that there are two subject assignments available one uh, first one's last date is today itself however it is not mandatory to do that but it's on you you want to do that you can do that but don't uh, you know leave other weekly assignments unattended do attempt them if even if you have uh, completed those one you will be securing your marks in the internal assignment in a quite nice way okay okay so, so today first assignment must be over then uh, one more no, assignment no, first, is first subjective first subjective first subjective okay. assignment i'm not talking about the first assignment is week one subject uh, assignment so for the all the weekly assignments the last date is 5th of may 2024 okay oh, 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 only for the first subjective assignment that today is the last day. so subject assignment where to see sir that the the same where where you are finding this uh, uh, that weekly assignment in the same way you will you will find there in one particular row it is there and please do refer the announcement uh, announcement you will find the direct link also there you just go to the assignment in assignment week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 week 7 and after that the first subject assignment will be there okay so you will find there don't worry just see carefully then uh, it's time for to apply the exam also sir yeah obviously this is and the last date is i think in april uh, in april 14 maybe there just go to the announcement and uh, you keep on doing this thing but don't don't uh, you know skip the exam registration otherwise you won't be able to appear in the examination all your exercises will be futile okay okay sir okay sir so, okay thank you
so then yes. to, uh, it's not mandatory to submit today subjective assignment first subjective assignment it is mandatory there <laughs> there nothing is mandatory you do, if you don't want to do the course it is also not mandatory <laughs> no 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 uh, like uh, if we submit <laughs> Uh, I am not asking in such a way, but uh, is it mandatory to submit that first subjective yeah. assignment, yeah, or it is okay? Otherwise, it will be closed. It will be closed today. Mandatory by the out of the two subjective assignment, it is expected that mm -hmm. you do at least one. Even if you skip one. first I, one, don't worry. You can go okay. for the second subjective assignment. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank That's you. Nice. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Most welcome. Yeah. Please. So, any other query, please? Uh, like for the sir, for the, for the first assignment, are you supposed to use a proper heading or just a those and what write up will be more than sufficient? Those and don't sorry, I couldn't get it. Like for the first assignment, are we supposed to use the headings like introduction, literature review, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Something like that. Actually, some sort of essay sort of thing you would you can write. You can just go for in that particular way. Doesn't matter. Actually, we want to see that in even the one thousand word, can you reproduce a unique material? Okay, and unique oh. material. And, and please do remember that. Uh, don't take the help of any AI uh, based material because there are even if you pass the uh, the um, plagiarism detection. There are software available which can easily detect how you can uh, whether you are taking the help of AI or not. Because if you go for publication, even if your paper is accepted, it is sent for rechecking for the AI created content by the publisher. And if it passes, if it passes that same thing, then only your paper will be published. Otherwise, even after the acceptance, your paper may be rejected. So that's why I am telling that this is. Our motive to first create a unique content, detect plagiarism, and avoid the plagiarism. That how we can avoid. So this is just an exercise. It is not a test of your writing skill. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And uh, this week is going to be very very interesting. Uh, for Professor Rajat Agrawal, Head Department of Management Studies, IIT Roorkee, is going to address the empirical studies, which are very useful for the arts, humanities, you know, uh, for the management. That how we can do the empirical study, that field-based study, surveys, and all that. The kind of studies, because we, uh, you might be thinking that we, uh, uh, that we are not talking about the, the the arts and humanity research. So now this is the time where we are discussing and addressing those things. And moreover, uh, uh, in the next week also, the Professor Rajat Akrawal will be, uh, be with us in addressing some of the remaining issues. And uh, our, even after completing the 15 week, we will be releasing a bonus week by the by our team and uh, the content will be available though there will be no exercise depending on uh, for those particular aspect but yes uh, the extra content will be there available even after the week 15 release because last week is week 15 okay so yes And please mute yourself if you are not unmuted. If you are not mute, uh, so some, good afternoon, some, sir. Yeah, please, Bole. Only sorry for interrupting. I had a question that is with yeah, regard to the the uh, the checker we had to put. So after processing it. Yeah, uh, if there, there was uh, some of my friends who were doing the course said that uh, one of them got a message from the black checker that they had hundred percent original content and zero percent prejudice. So is that even possible, sir? From yeah, the it is possible. Th Sometimes it is possible. No worries. Uh, if we can do that. There is no issue. Uh, especially when we are giving a small set of writing we can write it um, at our own and it may be 100% one but especially it it is not 
possible when we are writing for the for a text based or research based question or a research paper review paper at that time it is a challenge when we are writing uh, you know uh, 5000 words 10000 words and so on and so forth then it becomes a huge issue that's why it's just a tiny exercise to deal with those problems that how we can do that especially when you have entered 100 lines say for example you have written 100 lines if there is similarity in just one line then it will be 10% okay or if this one line is the part of 10 pages it may be 0.1% it depends on the that's why it depends on Actually, technically, if you say it depends on the you know length and breadth of the or the or the you can say length of that entire work, which is under investigation for the plagiarism checking. So that's why uh, it's better that we go for chapter wise checking of the thesis. If you are writing a thesis. It's better we go for uh, complete thesis checkup. It will reduce our load of avoid of doing the efforts in reducing the plagiarism level got my point because yes. in the entire length you need less effort to reduce the plagiarism level if you are getting it checked a particular chapter which is of five pages or two pages or three pages maybe then you require more things. However, if you are doing it chapter wise, then obviously you are not going to get the plagiarism for the entire when you are putting entire thesis into the plagiarism detection, obviously. OK. Thank you so much. Now, this is just a hint that yes, how we can, uh, these things can perform. However, uh, it depends completely on the plagiarism software. Actually, what you are using is a free plagiarism software in general. And free plagiarism software don't have uh, a good database. So that's why, say for example, if a plagiarism checker or that duplicate checker, whatever you are using pre post show that free versions, if it is showing uh, 5%, 7%, 10%, it means that it is going to be more than 30% if you check it for the Turnitin or the Authenticate maybe, because they are the robust plagiarism detection softwares. It's better that we write at our own and improve our writing skills. Then only we will be able to beat that competition which is being posed by the AI also. Actually, with the help of AI, you can get your paper written completely. I agree. But that work will be caught. Many of the you have you might be seeing lots of stories of retraction of papers which have been written by the AI. Taking help with the AI, I don't think so that's bad. But being dependent completely on the AI chatbots and other things is completely wrong. And you may be in trouble if you are taking practicing that thing. Because Expert pick up the things, can identify the things very easily. And I want to warn you that AI sometimes create the pseudo references or hypothetical references for the uh, text which are not existing even. So that's why the journal, Various journals practice reference authentication or validation of references before starting the peer review even. So please do remember that do never ever be dependent on the referencing and the content creation of the AI chatbots for the research paper. However, you will find lots of people, smart people teaching you, uh, getting your research paper written in just few hours. I don't believe in that thing. Yes, uh, just research. If you have serious research, you have done. Just uh, you know that articulate the things and put your reflections into your research work in a scientific manner. It is not required that always a research work can all can't always be you know 
यूरेका काइंड ऑफ थिंग दिस देयर माइट बी सम इंक्रीमेंटल बेनिफिट्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ दैट मैनुस्क्रिप्ट मे बी देयर बट एवरी इंक्रीमेंट इज ए पॉजिटिव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स द साइंस एनी साइंस सो डोंट बी हेजिटेंट इवन इफ यू आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग ए स्मॉल थिंग इन टू द नॉलेज डोमेन that your contribution is just like that squirrel which devoted uh the efforts in preparing the rama setu okay thank you yes i agree with you in this because i am a teacher so i like teach quite a few students so with this, so, so my subject is political science so sometimes when they don't understand the concept they come to me i explain it to them but when i'm seeing their writings which are doing in the assignments like they're supposed to submit like what files i can clearly understand that that is not what a class 11 or 12 a child will be writing because that is just the basis and uh, when i ask them they definitely they are like i understand but i'm also so helpless at one point Ah, uh, it happens because basically, uh, what we can do, uh, we cannot go for checking. But rather, we have we are very late bloomers in India in, in working on the field of plagiarism. It has been in the but the part and parcel in the school education essay writing itself in the Western world. They are tracking the essay writing style of a student since class six, seven, eight. So. if a person who is submitting his or her a student submitting his or her assignment or essay uh, in that um, uh, 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 i say the uh, class 11th so that style tracker will create a report that yes this particular writing is not the style of the student so it has been written by someone else so that kind of thing have already been adopted years back when we just entered into that domain to copying cheating is obviously there but in 2018 we legitimize it with the help of the plagiarism regulation 2018 but it is there from decades in the western world obviously the if you say academic theft is theft nothing so we have to inculcate in the students mind actually uska koi ilaaj nahi hai we just have to uh, tell the students that yes can you create can you be creative can you write creative thoughts so in that this the, the problem the solution is whenever you are giving them writing task what i feel that don't give much of the task and the task should be given in the classroom itself that in 20 minutes because they are supposed to write one question in max 20 minutes if you full flesh question So, and your class is also 30 minute 40 minute minimum so you just come with the papers and ask them to write that uh, this particular aspect in 20 minutes so they are unable to take the help of ai or chatbot at that time and just collect it at the in the class itself so i think this is a solution where we can check and assess and poke the creative writing or creative their creativity in writing um, in the students I think we can check it out, and that way. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, one more doubt, sir. Uh, sorry for again asking. Yeah, please, please, please. Uh, sir, on Sri Ja, the previous uh, just before I asked you. Now I just uh, go, uh, gone through that, sir. I was not able to get that subjective question through that link itself. I am finding it difficult, sir. Can you just to say the procedure? You just go to the assignment section. Okay, in the assignment section, when you will be going, I will show you maybe if I am there. Let me hold on. Ah, uh. mm. you go to the assignment, and uh, even in in the if you go for the say for example, if you go for the uh, announcement itself, you will be getting some of the direct links there where we have kept all the links put together. You just go to the announcement, and you will find the direct link to go to there. and uh, let me check if we are having that uh, i will like to show you if it is there i will share the screen for you and uh, hold on okay 
hold on huh? ah, yes sir hmm. actually <coughs> sorry uh, when you are going to the course dashboard you will find uh, at the bottom Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the bottom uh, bottom left corner, you will be find you will be finding just a minute. Actually, I'm on, I'm not there, and the thing maybe maybe last cycles I'm opening. I'll be opening. If I'm getting that thing because I'm trying to open up in my last cycle, uh, let me check if, if it is there in this circuit assignment. Yeah, OK, I'm letting you know. Now I'll be sharing you. Let me share. My screen for you. Yes, this is the sharing. So let me check. So if you are going to the course dashboard, your assignment will be there. Let me take the yes. Mm -hmm. Just a minute, actually. Kaku dikra kya? Are you able to see the window? Abhi nahi dikra. Okay. Ah yes. Port dashboard dikra apko? Can we see that? Yes, sir. Dikra sir. Dikra? Ah yes, can see sir. Ah, so where you will find assignment and quiz there. Actually, it is the last year cycle. So assignment and quiz you will be opening. When you will scroll down, you can see that there are so many. One to so first subject assignment you will find like this. Uh -huh. It is the last cycle I'm opening. So you will be just clicking it and you will be finding the thing. Okay. Actually, this yes, is the yes. uh, core thing. Here that, sorry. Actually, I have opened up a last cycle. So that's why the dates are different. So you will find the same thing there. In that way, and here you need not to go anywhere. Just your submission that uh, because the due date for submitting is over, you will find a place add file here. You will upload from here only. Okay, okay got my sir. point. Because this is the okay. uh, last year cycle, that's why the things are not visible here. So uh, uh, for the current cycle, you will finding that place up to twenty three fifty nine IST. Kewal raat ke bara baje tak. Okay. Uske baad jo hai ye, ye cycle bhi, ye jo first assignment uh, option is will be skipped. Okay. So meanwhile, uh, I request you that when if you are planning the articles that uh, do plan it and uh, try to write it, discuss with your supervisors and the important aspect is selecting a particular journal. We have already mentioned in the research paper writing and the review paper writing aspect that how we can go for the selection of the journals impact speed and reach so just have a list before you because your research area is limited you are working on a particular field so have a library or a repository of journals in which you are going to submit your research or review papers Even if you are blank for a particular topic, just refer to the established researcher CV where they are communicating their manuscript or publishing their manuscript. In this way, there may there might be wonderful high impact journals, no issue, but it may take maybe 100 days or 200 days or 300 days maybe three months, maybe five months, six months, up to three months, it's okay. General standard time is one to three months minimum. Don't expect the decision to come in the you know one week or two weeks. 
it's very hard to find however you we may get the rejection from a high impact journal or prestige journal in just few hours maybe in 48 hours if it is not within the scope so the paper paper suitability for a journal matching that thing is very much crucial until the paper is just a piece of garbage which is not there which is not the case in general because at least a paper have one or more thing to be learned or the contributing factor to the knowledge domain is always there but you have to identify the or match your content with the journal's expectation and this is the most challenging task even the established researcher face this problem so aisa nahi hai ki only the young birds and we and me are getting the thing so just try to do that theek okay? hai so anything else which uh, we are facing or kuch aap kehna chahe to you are most welcome otherwise we will wrap up our uh, this session i will try to do it in the next sunday also provided we are not busy somewhere in their loktantra parv so uh, the festival of democracy democracy we have got our assignment in the election duties so if we are uh, not there involved in that particular election duty i'll be there with you again on next sunday okay and rather we will be inviting some of our, uh, we'll try uh, to invite some experts also for our interactions uh, meanwhile you please complete your exam registration and uh, um, there has been a history with our course that we have been number one in most of the time in the exam registration so please uh, try to make us or enable us to repeat that history okay so friends so thank you thank you once again for your uh, valuable discussions and interactions we will yes. be with वंडरफुल जर्नी with all of you thank you thanks a lot my yes, dear sir but, uh, sir yes sir one more doubt sir sir i got uh, the uh, question sir and uh, i wrote, uh, i am having uh, i i was right i am writing the one thing the article is there but how to write the plagiarism sir sir, sir that it is mentioned there pdf of plagiarism how to make that sir madam please go to their plagiarism software uh, software plagiarism where the plagiarism unit i think you haven't consulted that uh, week 3 in which this has been discussed that how to do that the instructions have been given there please complete it just you have to upload that manuscript into the plagiarism detection software uh, that using the plagiarism detection you will generate a plagiarism report and that report will be uploaded here okay so please try it and the things have been given and even if you skip don't worry you can do the next subject assignment because in the meantime if you are unable to do that you can complete the second subject assignment which has already been released this is that is quite easier for you okay need not to worry and the uh, out of two uh, only one is compulsory we may say okay yeah thank you sir thank you so thanks a lot and uh, thanks a lot for your uh, kind contribution or the interaction so if you we are not having any queries to be addressed remaining to be addressed so i would like to bid goodbye and uh, please raise your queries don't wait for the discussion live interaction just go for their discussion forum our team is there i am also there um, complete um, we are you know answering the queries almost on the real time we try to do that but whenever it is possible so so thank you thanks a lot please do register for the exam and if you have any queries uh, we are here we are there in the discussion forum we are there in the telegram group 
टू हेल्प यू आउट तो थैंक यू थैंक यू लॉट प्रणाम धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर